garden gals and guides, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden and today I'm bringing you a video for the holidays, a gift guide to five different big ticket items for you, not for any other gardeners, for you because I feel like there's a lot of gift guides out there that are what to buy for gardeners, different things like that, but always for someone else or often for someone else and I wanted this to be pertinent for you to get either for yourself or to tell your partner, hey, this is something I really want. It's a bigger price point, but it'll make a difference for me in the garden. That's what I'm going for today with these five items. This is also my personal wish list as well. I have purchased some of these items in the past and loved them, and others I have just purchased today or want to purchase in the future. So it's a combination of things I have used and adore, a combination of things I'm gonna try for the first time next year, and just general wish list items. So I hope this resonates with you, and remember, Always great to get a little Christmas gift for yourself or holiday gift, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. No shame in that. The first one is a big deal, my friends, because when I tell you, this means you know that I'm going to use these for next year's cut flower garden. Oh my. I'm anxious and nervous and excited all at the same time for these. Soil blocks! Soil blocks! I purchased them today from the Gardener's Workshop. I'm giving them a go for next year. If you're unfamiliar with soil blocks, soil blocks allow you to plant a seed into a block of soil. There's no plastic, there's no cell trays, it's just that preformed block, and it's an imprint based on this gadget that you can use to get a tray of seedlings planted in soil. A lot of people say their seedlings are stronger and healthier and grow better in them. And I personally have only used cell tray methods in the past. And so my friends, this year I am also going to be using soil blocks. Not exclusively because it's my first year with them and I want a safety, I'm gonna do some things in cell trays but I'm very excited to experiment. So the details, I bought these from thegardenersworkshop.com and I purchased the Soil Blocker Maker Set. Did I get that wording right? Soil Blocker Maker Set, yes. No, I didn't get it right. It's Soil Block Maker Set. What comes with that is one small 20 cell soil blocker, one large four cell soil blocker, large inserts for the four cell soil blocker, and all of that together is $84.95. When you add shipping in, I paid $94.90, so I paid $10 in shipping for that. Some people say you don't have to get the larger ones, though they're great for things that are large, like sunflowers, pepper plants, things like that. You could probably get away with just getting the small 20 cell soil blocker. I know a lot of people just use that. I wanted to get the whole experience, and when you get that bundle, you save a little bit. So I went the whole kahuna and got that maker, soil blocker maker set. There is lots of research on these. Lisa Mason Ziegler is a big proponent of it. In her book, Cool Flowers, I think she even talks a little bit about soil blocking in that. I know a lot of YouTubers use it. Not every YouTuber uses it who's in the garden YouTube world, but I'm looking forward to trying it and seeing the difference. From what I know, it works for some, it doesn't work for others. I will share my journey with you along the way, but please, if you are a soil blocker, comment below and let me know what you think about it how it works for you, the differences that you've seen between using soil blocks and using regular sale trays, I would love to know. And I'm sure everyone else would too. So please comment below. But big news everyone, we're soil blocking next spring. Secondly is a bundle of three books. Now these books don't come together. I just bundle them myself because they are three that I happen to want for my holiday gifts this year. 
The first one is a very popular one, and some say it is a mandatory one. Mandatory. It is a mandatory run if you are into cut flowers or flower farming. And that is Dr. Alan Armitage Specialty Cut Flowers book. Now, before you go Amazoning this, let me tell you. I Googled it today and on Amazon, it was over $100 along with several other books. So inflation as it may be, it is through the roof on Amazon. So here is the special hint. If you want to get this book at a reasonable price, please go to alanarmitage.net. That's A-L-L-A-N-A-R-M-I-T-A-G-E.net. It is his personal website and he has a bookshop on there. This book is on there for $45. So over $50 cheaper than you can find it on Amazon. Just a heads up. With shipping, I paid $6 for shipping, so $51 total for that. So I was very happy to see that it is direct from him and then also a better value as well versus Amazon. So keep that in your noggin. The next two books are by Sarah Raven, and I have to plead my ignorance. I don't know a lot about her other than she is a genius in the cut flower world. I believe she is British, and she's got several books out on different topics about cut flowers and gardening, and Florette highly recommends some of her materials. The two that I would like are... The Cutting Garden, Growing and Arranging Garden Flowers. Now I was able to find these on Amazon, a little below list price. That one is $32.33. Keep in mind, this is today when I searched for them, so it may be different if you search for them online, but this is today's price. The next one by her is A Year Full of Flowers, Gardening for All Seasons. And that one was $24.99 on sale from the list price, again, both on Amazon. However, there's other books by her that are on Amazon. I'm blanking on the title of what it was, but it was listed at $105 and some odd change. So same thing as the Specialty Cut Flowers book by Dr. Alan Armitage, just through the roof. So pick wisely with what you're doing. I would probably just order the two that I said on Amazon, but I really don't wanna pay over $100 for a book. So I'll keep looking for some of her other ones in a different place. Those three books together, if you would buy each of them today at the prices that I just listed, are $108.32. So pretty good value for some really valuable, informative resources. Those are on my list at number two. Number three, I sure hope that I'm pronouncing this right. This is a big company for rainwear. It is Rudens. Prudence, I believe that's it. This is a company that provides rainwear, especially for heavy duty things such as fishing, fishermen, fisherwomen, flower farming, different occupations or hobbies like that. They come recommended by Flora. I've seen other people on Instagram or YouTube wearing it as well. I personally would like to get some of their bibs and the ones that I found today that are available in high visibility yellow, which happens to be one of my favorite colors, is women's weather watch bib. It also comes in black if you prefer black. It is a bib that you can wear under your coat or above a half zip up, whatever you prefer. It is waterproof and it is $89.99. When would you wear these? Well, my biggest thing is digging up dahlias and washing them off, getting ready to divide them. It is a wet job and it is often a cold job. I lucked out this year because it was not too cold. It was very warm, but especially if you are doing lots and lots of dahlias, you probably want to have some good rain wear with you in your house, in your wardrobe that you can wear and stay dry. They also have rain coats. I'm a little more interested in the bibs, but check out their website because they have a lot of great products and I've heard very good things. Number four is the Florette Farmer Florist Tool Belt. Now I've been eyeing these for a couple of years 
These are made by Floret. They come in eight different varieties as far as color and left or right handed. It is a belt that you can keep your phone, your garden marker, your snips, everything in one area. And I know for me, I'm constantly losing my snips and I'm constantly losing my garden marker. So something like this would be really helpful to have. It is expensive, but I believe it is made of very high quality leather and a good product that you're paying a lot, but you're getting a lot back from it. So it is $217.95. And number five, the last one is one of my favorites. I purchased these last spring. I use them all the time. Could not love them more. These are the Women's Waterproof Carhartt Boot titled Women's Six Inch Non-Safety Toe Wedge Boot. And that is online on Carhartt's website. I purchased these last spring, as I said, and they have been a workhorse. Let me show you. Here they are. These babies have been loved. High and low, they've been left out in the rain and they never disappoint. They have been sopping wet, they dry quickly. I wear them in a lot of videos. And I just ordered a couple new ones during the Black Friday sale because they are listed at $159.99 online. I got them around $132, so I saved a bit because of the Black Friday sale, but you can always keep your eye out and see if they lower in price at all if you're looking for a deal. But I do think they're every penny worth that $160. I was able to get them this year in a burgundy. Let me show you. I've never even heard of this color, but it was listed online as Carhartt Burgundy. It's a little different from the color I thought it was, so I'm actually returning these, but very cool option. And one that I decided I gotta have because I got the tan ones in the spring and I love them so much. And I saw they had your tried and true black. Love them, love them. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I might just wear these and save these for being my own kind of stylish. I would wear these with, say, this outfit out. Let's try them on, shall we? That way I could keep my garden ones for the garden because, I mean, they get a lot of work in, they get a lot of the elements, but maybe these could be my quote unquote pretty ones. Let's do a little walkabout, shall we? Oh. Okay. The quality is so good, guys. Such nice shoes. Completely waterproof. You switch out the dirty ones, you put on the fabulous ones, and hey, here she is, world. Here's a close-up. will say in the spring I ordered an eight because I'm usually an eight. They run a little big. I usually have heavy duty socks on, so they're fine. They just slip a little bit. But these I ordered a seven and a half and they're a bit better. So if you're on the cusp between sizes, I would go with the half size smaller. Now friends, when I looked today at Carhartt's website, they did not have the black and they did not have the burgundy option, only the tan. But I'm hopeful that they'll come back in stock because I've seen a lot of people who rate these very highly and I'd be shocked if they take them off completely. So keep your eyes peeled. If you're into one of the colors other than the tan, keep referring back to their website and see if you can find them. They're totally worth it. And that concludes this video. I hope that was helpful in showing you some ideas that if you're wanting to get yourself something special or fill a big ticket item for your garden this coming year, all of those would be really great purchases. Again, I am not recommending you buy a garden or any of these necessarily, because I think some of the bigger purchases, we as gardeners like to make those ourselves or tell our partner, hey, get this. This specific thing that I'm telling you, get this and nothing else to make it clear because we wanna get what we want. You know what I mean? I'm not sponsored by any of these things. I just put this list together today because I'm making my holiday wish list and I thought some of you might be thinking of the same idea. What are some big ticket items I can get that will help me with the garden over the seed starting 
season in the winter and the big start of spring. Please let me know which one you think you may want to add to your possession for this coming season, if any, or what other ideas you have. I have room on my list to add more, ladies and gentlemen. So please comment below and let me know some other big ticket items that you think might be really valuable to me for this coming season. I am also going to make a small item list for things that are a bit less expensive that you could per perhaps gift someone who's a gardener or for yourself as well. But these I thought were pretty important because if you're like me and you really care about gardening or you're a big, big hobby flower grower, these things are important to you and they're special to you. So for something like the holidays, you're probably gonna spend a decent amount or what you're able to in investing in a high quality product for your passion, right? So I'm hoping that this was helpful for you. There are other items that I'm sure flower farmers will, would put on a list, something as big as a hoop house or a big greenhouse. I am a hobby flower grower and I do not have a lot of space. I am on one acre and the amount of sun that I have to grow in is very, very small definitely probably under a quarter acre. That would be really generous. So I just don't have the room for some of those bigger, big ticket items. So if you're looking for something on that list here, probably did not find it, but I'm sure elsewhere other people might have the experience of using those things or having that thing. So it's worth looking around, but <laughs> that's not me. I wish, can you imagine having a big yard, acres and acres, or even like two acres? Oh the dream. All right, everybody, that is it. Thanks for coming along to this fireside chat with Axel. Axel! Oh, he's back here with Axel and I, and happy holidays to everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Happy planting! Bye!